Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Imagine this, your morning ritual, the simple act of sipping a cup of coffee could be your most powerful ally against the hidden enemy of aging, muscle weakness and loss, or sarcopenia as the experts call it. That's correct. Nestled within your brew is a secret weapon, trigonaline, a natural compound that not only wakes you up, but can also guard your muscle strength as years go by. A new study published in Nature Metabolism has spotlighted trigonaline, found in your coffee and certain foods like fenugreek. Positioning it at the forefront of our fight to preserve muscle health well into our older years. But that's not where the story ends. We dive deeper into the science of staying strong and encounter a molecule playing hero behind the scenes, NAD. This vital compound is the unsung hero in our cells, keeping them energized, repairing DNA, and ensuring our muscles remain strong and resilient. Yet, as birthdays pass, our NAD levels take a hit, dimming the cellular powerhouse and compromising our muscular health. Stay tuned as I explore how this daily pleasure, your cup of coffee, alongside cutting edge science, could be the key to unlocking a future where age is just a number and strength and vitality are your lifelong companions. The study talks about sarcopenia, which is more than losing muscle. It's a significant drop in muscle strength and how well our muscles work, making it harder for people to move around, stay independent, and enjoy life fully. Scientists studying aging are concerned about this condition and are searching for ways to slow down or even turn back the clock. One key reason muscles start to weaken as we get older is a decrease in NAD, a crucial ingredient that helps our cells power stations the mitochondria turn the food we eat into energy. When there's not enough NAD, our muscles don't get the energy they need, making them weaker and smaller. To address the challenges of this muscle weakness, researchers have shifted focus towards compounds capable of enhancing NAD levels. With NMN and NR, initially leading the charge. Despite their potential, these two particular compounds have shown limited direct effects on muscle NAD levels, spurring further exploration. It's been discovered that the price handler pathway plays a crucial role in elevating muscle NAD levels, a pathway neither NMN nor NR effectively utilizes. This brings trigonaline into the spotlight. Distinct from NMN and NR, trigonaline, a compound closely related to vitamin B3, has demonstrated its capacity to specifically boost NAD levels in muscle tissue via the price handler pathway. This discovery opens a promising new direction in combating muscle weakness and sarcopenia. Historically, efforts to increase NAD levels have focused on NMN and NR, but these precursors often falter in significantly affecting muscle NAD concentrations due to issues with bioavailability and the body's utilization in muscle tissue. Trigonaline offers a more effective solution. This present study indicates that trigonaline not only exceeds NMN and NR in stability, but also continues to enhance NAD levels well beyond the point where NMN and NR's effects wane. This is evidenced by data showing that trigonaline's continued NAD levels increase at both the 24-hour and 72-hour marks, unlike NMN and NR, which show diminished activity within two hours. Trigonaline's edge lies in its unique metabolic path to the body, unlike NMN and NR, which are hindered by their inability to directly influence muscle NAD levels via the salvage pathway. Trigonaline employs the price handler pathway. This efficient route not only stabilizes trigonaline, but also ensures its direct conversion into NAD within the muscle cells, thus supporting muscle energy and vitality more effectively. Now, let's dive into how the discovery of trigonaline's benefits unfolded. It all started with the thorough investigations, including human studies like the Mimosa Project and detailed lab research. These efforts have not only shown us that trigonaline can significantly boost NAD levels in our muscles, but they also open our eyes to its wider benefits for our health and how long we live. In the Mimosa study, researchers discovered the connection between trigonaline levels 
and muscle strength and energy, particularly in older adults. This suggests that higher blood levels of trigonaline may be associated with better muscle function and overall energy levels, especially as, as we age. Let's talk about where we can find trigonaline naturally. One of the most exciting aspects of trigonaline's rise to prominence is its availability in everyday foods and beverages. Trigonaline can be obtained from several plant sources, such as peas, hemp seeds, clover, and oats. I have a coffee and fenugreek of very rich sources. Let's start with coffee. So, your morning cup doesn't just give you a caffeine boost, but also a significant amount of trigonaline, the second most important compound found in coffee after caffeine. It makes up about 1% of coffee in its raw form, found in both Arabica and Robusta varieties. However, when coffee is roasted, especially dark roasted, most of the trigonaline gets broken down and only about 0.1 to 0.2% of it remains. Because trigonaline dissolves easily in water, it's found in higher amounts, 0.9 or 1.7 in instant coffee. So the instant coffee is the best natural source of trigonaline. If you're not a fan of instant coffee, your next best bet is espresso coffee. However, it needs to be prepared in a specific manner to extract the most trigonaline. When using an espresso machine, the water temperature should be set from 88 degrees centigrade to 92 degrees centigrade for the most extraction. Personally, since discovering this information, I started drinking six or more cups of instant coffee daily. Not sponsored, but the brand I find best is Bustello Instant Coffee. Let's talk about fenugreek. Used both as a culinary herb and a medicinal plant, fenugreek seeds are another rich source of trigonaline. Incorporating fenugreek into your diet through spices or supplements can boost your intake of trigonaline. The name trigonaline comes from its initial discovery in fenugreek seeds, which belongs to the plant species Trigonella, Phoanum graesum. Of all the fenugreek forms, the dry seed is the predominant and richest source of trigonaline. I personally take three tablespoons of dry fenugreek seeds daily. The next one, clover. Although fenugreek is rich in trigonaline, the spiced clover has twice the amount of this, this trigonaline. I do not use clover, but I will add it to my diet because of this discovery. If you're thinking about taking a supplement form of trigonaline, it is very costly. This website sells one gram or a thousand milligrams of trigonaline for $126. Expensive is an understatement. So I asked ChatGPT to tell me how much trigonaline I could get from a tablespoon of dried fenugreek seeds. Here was its response. From one tablespoon of dried fenugreek seeds, you could theoretically extract approximately 36 milligrams of trigonaline, given the average concentration from the cited study. I then asked ChatGPT to tell me how much trigonaline I could get from a cup of coffee. Its reply was, the amount of trigonaline extracted can range from 28.2 to 65.1 milligrams per cup. That's pretty good. This is a no-brainer. I will stick to coffee and vinegar seeds for my trigonaline sauces. They are much cheaper and natural. If you stuck by, thank you for sticking by, so I'm gonna wrap it up. This new study found that trigonaline is linked to muscle strength, mitochondrial health, and NAD levels. This suggests that trigonaline could significantly improve muscle health and function, especially as we age. As we delved into the fascinating world of trigonaline and its potential positive effects on health and longevity, it becomes clear that the compounds we often overlook in our daily diets may hold the key to significant health benefits. The conversation surrounding trigonaline, an exceptional compound found in coffee and fenugreek, provides new insights into how we can approach aging, muscle health, and overall well-being. Just think about it for a second. You start your day not only with a typical cup of coffee, but also with a potent weapon against age-related muscle decline. Who ever thought of this? It's not just a morning pick-me-up. It's a sip towards a healthier and livelier future. The possibility of trigonaline to boost muscle NAD levels and safeguard your muscles represent a significant breakthrough in our understanding of the role of diet in maintaining muscle health 
as we age. I want to leave you with a little extra something that many scientists and people in general are not aware of at this particular time. I asked ChatGPT for the following question. Given the information I provided in this new study, is it possible that caffeine found in coffee may not be the only reason why coffee provides an energy boost? In other words, coffee is rich in trigonaline and it increases NAD+. Doesn't an increase in NAD also provide an energy boost? Its response was, absolutely, your reasoning is spot on. While the caffeine is widely recognized for its immediate energy boosting effect by blocking adenosine receptors in the brain, which makes us feel more alert, the study you mentioned sheds light on another component of coffee, trigonaline. That could also contribute to energy enhancement, albeit to a different mechanism. Trigonaline, by increasing NAD levels in the body, can indeed contribute to an energy boost. NAD is crucial for cellular processes, especially those involved in mitochondrial function and energy production. Mitochondria are the powerhouses of our cells, generating the energy that cells need to function properly through a process called oxidative phosphorylation. As NAD plus levels increase, so does the efficiency of the mitochondria, potentially leading to improved muscular function and overall energy. Thus, when you consume coffee, the caffeine gives you an immediate feeling of alertness and wakefulness, while trigoline, by potentially increasing NAD levels, could support your body's energy production capacity on a more cellular level. Incredible. This dual action makes coffee a potent beverage for boosting energy both in the short term via caffeine and potentially in the long term via trigonaline and increased NAD levels. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. Stay tuned for more updates and take care of yourselves. Remember, always speak to your doctor before taking any supplement or nutraceutical or plan to change your diet to determine if it corresponds with your health status. See you in my next video.